kind of dogs do you have? German Shepherds. How many? Three. And how long have you been taking them to the park? Well, I haven't had all of them since I've been going to the dog park, but I've been going to that dog park for probably roughly the same time, three to three and a half years. How many dogs were you with on the 28th of August? Four. You are three, and who else's? I have a 13-year-old white Samoyda, another dog. So you have four dogs? Correct. And you had all four off-leash? Yes. Did you witness Miss Haygood's dog getting bitten? Uh, I don't believe her dog got bitten. She'll show me the vet. Okay. Did you witness an interaction between your dog and hers? Yes, I did. I want you to tell me what you observed. Well. Right here. Uh, I want you to tell okay. me what you observed. I read your answer, so now you tell me what the interaction was that you observed. Her dog was crossing the dog park. There was other dogs coming in the fence line, and we call it fence talk, or, you know, it's typical for the dogs to all run up to the fence. Her dog's coming across the dog park at 30-ish miles an hour. My dog had also taken off to, you know, go fence banter, and, you Which know, dog? my German Shepherd, the name is Nala of this particular dog. That How old is that dog? Nala is probably four to five five years old at this time. Mm -hmm. So Nala's going as well, you know, the other multiple dogs usually will get riled up when one dog takes off, which her dog went first and it sets other just dogs. Say, just tell me what you observed. What I observed was her dog made veered left. There was a tree in the park as it was running to the fence and my dog T-boned the side of her dog, not anticipating that action. I don't, out don't of her tell me dog. what your dog anticipated or didn't anticipate. Okay. Just tell me what you saw. I saw my dog. Your dog T-bone her dog side mid sex the side. Correct. Okay, good. Now may I see the vet reports, please? I'll take a look at the photograph also. This. This. Where's the vet's report? This is the bill. Where's the, the treatment plan that they gave me? It says what the different items that they're planning to do. You mean your vet doesn't write down what their findings were? No. They just say what procedures they're going to do. Okay. What I'd like you to do is to show this to Mr. Yogi. Seen it in person, yes. And you think that that's from your dog T-boning? Absolutely. Dog? With what? They have sharp collars on. And, and just to, to just state... Just a second. Who has a sharp collar on? Oh, my dog has dog tags on, collar. We, we have a, a chain on her, plus her collar. There are sharp objects on her collar, absolutely. By the way, if you keep the sharp collar on her, that's your responsibility. For an incidental of two dogs running into each other in a dog park? That's if I accept what you're telling me happened. Did you call at any time, sir? Because she has her phone here. Uh -huh. Did you call Miss Haygood at any time I did. that day? Where did you get her number from? From a woman at the dog park. Prior to the 28th of August, had you ever called Miss Haygood before? No. She wasn't a friend of yours. An acquaintance at the dog park. But you didn't have her phone number? She no, didn't. absolutely not. No. And I'd like you to tell me what the purpose was for you calling her on the 28th of August. I felt awful. So you called up to say you felt awful, even though, according to you... My, my, my original reaction to it is I was going to take some responsibility. And then what changed your mind? Well, for one, I got a letter stating that my dog had bitten her dog, and I don't believe that happened. Okay, uh, a greyhound's next? coat what's is very next? thin. What's next? What's next? I read your answer, so, and I read her complaint, and from what you just said to me, I don't understand it, and I'm not an expert on greyhounds, but you started to say a greyhound's skin, their, their skin is, is very, very thin. It's like wet paper mache dog right. running in the so dog that park. When she says in her complaint that what you said to her at the time was, if it wasn't a greyhound, it wouldn't have been injured. That's, that's a very good chance of that. Could be, that you would could, not have been punctured, yes, or whatever you want to say. I mean, I'm not using the word dog bite. 